In this video, I will show you how to create smooth flowing text transitions like this. This fly through effect works great with drone shots, or you can use it in other ways to emphasize your statements. It's a simple way to engage your audience. How do you do it? Don't worry, it's not hard. I've got you covered in Christian's Tech Tips episode 8. All right, I don't want to bore you, so let's get right into it. But before that, please like and subscribe to help me grow my channel. Thank you so much. All right, let's get right into DaVinci Resolve. So this is version 19, the studio version, but this also works in the free version, so no worries. I've already selected my uh, sequences I need. So the first one is the opening intro. In this video, I will show you how to create smooth flowing text. And here I will show you three methods how you can add this flying text here. So first of all, we have the main sequence and then I have the second one, the drone shot. Okay, but let's focus on the first part. So in this part, I really want to welcome you and I also want to show you a text welcome. The first thing what we have to do is to shift this video from video line one to video line two, because we need a text under this video. For that, I will go simply on the left side in our toolbox to titles and I will select the normal title. So then I will click it and then we go to the right upper side where you have the inspector. So in our case, we want to go with welcome. This is the first part. And secondly, we need a more bolder text. So I go with extra bold, open sans uh, consented extra bold. I think we can go with this one. All right, to show the text now and the cutout picture here, we have to go to our video and select this one. Now we have to take care which part we want to have. In this video, I will show you how to create smooth flowing text transitions like this. Like this, this is the end, okay. And where do we start? I'll show you how to create. How to create, I think Here. this is okay. What I did here is I used my blade edit mode tool and I cut out the sequence what I need. This is important because I have to change the settings of this part of the video. So the next thing is I will align this text completely to this part I've already cut out. Select the main video I need. Then we go to composites here on the side, on the right side in the inspector. And we change the mode from normal to darken. Now we can see the text here appears, but it's too small. So we select the text here in our main timeline and we change the size to up to 450. I think this is great. All right, so now when we go to the video, show you how to create smooth. Okay, this is great. So we have the text now, but we want to have this flying effect. For that, we select the text here and we go to our inspector settings and in settings we activate the dynamic zoom. When you haven't watched my video yet, check it out here where I describe three ways of zooming. The dynamic zoom just adds an automatic zoom as you can see here. Create smooth flowing text transitions like this. This is okay, but this is way too slow and not big enough. So what we do here now, you have here your controls and you go to the left side to this selection box and go from transform to dynamic zoom. Select this one and then you see a red and a green box. These are the borders where the zoom starts and where the zoom ends. So we go to the text, we go to dynamic zoom here on the right side again and we click on swap. When I click on swap, it changes the direction of the zoom. You can see how it zooms out now, but this is not enough. It's smooth, but it's not fast enough and it doesn't look like that we fly through. What we have to do now is to go back here. We go on text so that we have the two boxes and you will, we will reduce now this box here to a very small one and we move it to the position where we want to reveal the whole shot. Ideally, you put it somewhere in the middle of a letter. So let's check Great it again. Smooth flowing text transitions like this. this like this. Perfect. So our first part is done. All right. The next step is that we want to use this drone shot in the middle of this drone sequence. Shots or where I say Great with 
Works great with drone shots. Works great with drone shots. Okay, and I think we can cut it here. So what's very important here is that we use the drone shot material instead of this sequence where you see me saying this text. We don't need it. We cannot do an overlay in that case. We need also the text under this drone shot material. For that, you can simply go here and deactivate the snapping as well as the linked selection. So you can select this material independently on the audio sequence down below. So we take now this part of the sequence and we don't need it because we will replace it with the drone shot material. So you simply take this and cut it out. Next step is we activate those two options again and then we simply drag and drop the sequence in here. All right, so now enlarge this a bit. So I think this is great. So we have the drone shot now here, but you can still hear what I say. So let me Fly check this again. Works great with drone shots, or you can use okay, so what we want to do now here is the same thing what we did before. So we select our weld context. We go with Ctrl C and Ctrl V. So we copy paste this. We just align this with the drone shot clip. Go to composite and go for the mode darken. Now we have welcome again. So, but I don't want to have this welcome again. I want to use now in the title drone here. The first thing I want to do is to enlarge the size so that we start right here. So you can read drone immediately. I think this works. Works great with drone shots or you can use it in other ways. Okay, now we have this with the drone shot. So this looks also great. And we will continue with the next part. Or you can use it in other ways to emphasize your statements. It okay, and ways. here I want to do another effect which is similar, but it's not flying through. It goes from right to left and left to right. So in our case, I have to select this. It in other ways to emphasize your statements. Your statements, empathize your statements. I think when we use your statements, this looks really great to highlight what I say. So in other ways to emphasize. Other ways to emphasize your statements so empathize your statements so i think we can go with your statements here so for that we can do a similar thing but we have to do something now with keyframes so in our case we must use the same text again i would say we copy paste it here I will just shorten it i will also use the first video clip again i go to the right side inspector and i will set this composite to darken and i want to change this to pure for your statement in our case i want a second line and i want that they will fly to each other i will shift now the video 2 timeline to the third one so we have now video 3 because i need here a second text box so i simply click on that text box i go Ctrl C, Ctrl V again, and I will move this right above the under text. In our case, now we have two times your, your statement. And this makes no sense. So first of all, I don't need this flying text anymore here. So I go to your, to the first one, and I will deactivate in settings the dynamic zoom. And I will do the same with the second one. So the first one I have already you on the second one as well, but I want to change it and I change it to statement. All right, so first of all, I have to move the position of the first one that I see something. I will put this here on the top. So I think we can go with 1600. Yeah, let's go this. I think I like this. And the second one with the statement. So select it in the timeline, the statement. And I go in the inspector and move this also down to, I don't know, 600 something. Yeah, let's go with 600. So as you can see, now you have your statement here and it will not move. Emphasize your statement. It's a sim Okay, so, but I want to move it from the left to the right and right to the left, that it looks cool. So I will disable the video track number one. That I have only your. I select your. So I want to set now a keyframe. When I set the keyframe here, you can do this in the inspector. 
So I will define the first position of the text. So in that case, I want to start here on, I don't know, 1300 approximately that I can remember it. Okay, so this is great. And I will click here, the keyframe on the right side that it remembers this position. But in the end, we want to go on the X axis to another section. So I have to select this again. I will set all the keyframe and I assume that the X one should be in the other direction. So something about 3300 or so. Let's check it again. Emphasize your statements. It's a this works really great. So lucky me. And now let's do the same with the other font here, the statement here, but we want to do it another way around. So from the other side. So in that case, not from left to right, we want it from right to left. For that, we go to the statement here. We mark this video, we go to the inspector and we check where we should start. So we activate the keyframe again and we shift the position from X. So we need it here somewhere 2850 and the Y axis can stay what we have already chosen. And then we go to the end. We also click on this position here. We activate the end keyframe here and the position in that case we have to change to, I would say a bit lower one, 500, 600, something around that. So let's go with 500 and then let's check how it looks like. Emphasize your statements. It's a simple way to engage your audience. Okay, this is really great. But I saw that I forgot the S because I say statements. So let's have a look how it looks Emphasize now. Emphasize your statements. It's a oh, I think this works perfect. All right, so I think this looks great. So let's have a look at all the three versions behind each other. In this other. video, I will show you how to create smooth flowing text transitions like this. This fly through effect works great with drone shots, or you can use it in other ways to emphasize your statements. All right, and I think that's all for this tutorial. The only thing I want to add here is music and sound effects, but I have another video out there where you see my DaVinci Resolve sound design as well. So I would say that's pretty much it. You don't need complicated fusion clips, notes, or other advanced tools to achieve this cool effect. Just pick a font you like and go for it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps get this video out there and supports the channel so I can keep making more helpful content like this for you. Stay healthy, take care, and I will see you in the next one.